Hi, in today's session, we're going to look at zero copy or Delta share feature in SAP Business Data Cloud. Delta share is an open source protocol. By using Delta share protocol, we can share the data products or data sets in another application, uh, any target application. So we don't have to replicate the data in the other recipient application. Instead, we simply um, share the data products or tables from the source application to the target application. In SAP Business Data Cloud, uh, Delta Share protocol is used to share the data products from Delta Lake of SAP Managed Data Lake and also Custom Managed Data Lake from Datasphere. You can see in this architecture diagram, um, there are SAP managed data products as well as custom managed data products. And these products are available as Delta tables in the object store of SAP HDLF service. From there, these data products can be shared with Datasphere, Databricks, or directly to any of the uh, analytic client applications, could Power BI like that. Now let's take a demo on this topic, I will access BDC trial, but the challenge here is going to be um, with the BDC trial that I have, currently I don't have admin privileges or the feature share is not enabled. So I cannot show you how to um, do a Delta share on the data products. However, I can use Databricks system, a Databricks application to create the Delta share and then share the data sets or data products from Databricks to another client target application. The functionality remains same. It's just that we are not doing the demo in Business Data Cloud. Instead, we are doing it in Databricks. To, to, uh, the, both systems use the same protocol uh, from open source technology, Delta. You can find more information about Delta sharing and they, and delta.io, it's an open source uh, documentation that you can reference for. So just to give a little background to the open source technology of Delta sharing, which is really the case in SAP BDC as well, you can see the Delta Lake tables as the, the Parquet or CSV files in your data lake. And then you've got a Delta sharing server, which provides the sharing protocol to uh, to get the access to the recipients. The re recipients can be um, yeah, Power BI or Spark, and it could be even your local uh, Pandas client using Python programming. So we are doing the same thing, but uh, in this uh, BDC use case, these Delta Lake tables are going to be SAP managed data product products. And then we can do the Delta share for those data products in Datasphere or Databricks and any other client applications like Power BI and et cetera. Let's do that uh, in a Databricks application. So I have access to my Databricks trial and then you can see I got my catalog, the Unity catalog where all my tables, Delta tables and other uh, files are stored. So I have uh, uploaded a couple of CSV files and also uh, a few Parquet files in the volume. And then I'm going, I have already created the Delta tables on top of those files, but it's it's just pretty simple that you can create. Um, so in the workspace, I've created a, a schema and I got these Delta tables created. And these Delta tables reference to set in Files could be CSV files, Parquet files as well. You wanted to see the data or the files that these uh, tables are based off, you can refer to the volume. And in the, in the volume, you can find a folder and then you can see this is a Parquet file uploaded and then within that, um, another subfolder created. Then I place several CSV files as well. My Delta tables are created based on some of these tables here. For example, if you see financial transaction, this is based off CSV file that's in the volume. And if you look at the uh, green trip data, this is um, a Delta table created on top of 
um, a parquet file. As you can see, this is a parquet file. So, so, so my delta tables are ready in Databricks um, catalog. BDC is the schema, and these are the tables the, that I have got created. Now, um, the next step is to create a delta share in Databricks and the, so that I can add some data sets to the delta share and then share the delta share with the recipients. In this uh, demo, I'm going to use it to share with Power BI. So let's start with that. Um, I'm going to start creating delta share. I can create graphically or I can create using um, a notebook using SQL. So I'll start with the creating graphically and let's take a look at that. So same place, click on the catalog and then you'll see some of these options. You can click on the Delta share. These are shared with me or shared by me. So I'm going to have shared by me. So you can see um, shares. I already have two Delta shares created and I also have receipt. I can create a new um, a new share or what else, since I already have a couple of shares already created, I'm going to use. Um, but if you wanted to create, you can click on share data and give it a name and uh, add the data assets to it. So you can add parquet files or CSV files to the, to that. And you can optionally add notebooks to it, right? Really not really, uh, not interested in this demo to have it in notebooks. And finally, you will need to add the recipient. Recipient is the is the team or uh, company or group where you wanted to share the um, Delta tables data. So I'm gonna cancel this. I'm not creating a, or I can actually create a new share saying that uh, demo for Delta share. That's my new um, Delta share. Just give the name and save and continue. And I can I, I can pick the tables from my BDC schema. So I got uh, one parquet file. This is green trip data. I, I actually I'm just going to put put the uh, another table. I can add more data sets to it. Just one is good. And then notebooks. I don't have to give a notebook. I'm okay uh, to add this one. I don't need a notebook. Save and continue. Recipient. So I need to create a recipient. Who is the target recipient for the share. I can choose the existing recipient or create a new recipient. Since I already had a couple of recipients, um, I'm going to choose. If you wanted to see a, a, how do I create a new recipient, it's pretty easy. Just give it a name and say open protocol or Databricks. So I'm going to choose open and then I will be getting a token, better token to access this particular resource or share. I don't keep an expiration expiry date, so it will be good. I'm not really creating a new one, but I'm going to use the existing recipient. So, and then do the share data. Um, that's it. You got a new data delta share created, and then you, I didn't have the recipient, but I can add the recipient anytime, um, anytime easily. So quickly to add a recipient, let me add it. Uh, I'm going to create a new recipient. I'm going to give it a name, uh, say it's, target Power BI and then keep it on open and take the token. I don't have to give the expiration. I will give seven days just to get it. create and add recipient and select recipient to share the data with. And then this is my share, say add it. Now this is being shared with the recipient. This is a new Delta share that I created and shared with the recipient. Let's take a look at this recipient, click on that, and then you get an uh, activation link. This is going to be um, um, an activation URL that generated by Delta Share protocol. This is going to give the authentication for the recipient. Copy it and then we paste it in a browser so that you can activate it. And then given access to the data set through Delta sharing, just download the credentials file. It's going to download a, a credential file to your local machine and then open it. Um, you got the bearer token and the endpoint URL to access the Delta share generated in Databricks. So I'm going to use these credentials in some 
any of the target clients. I can use my uh, Jupyter Notebook locally installed for Python Pandas module, or can use Tableau or Power BI to access this Delta share from Databricks. Let's start with Power BI. So I will open Power BI and then start get data. Uh, before getting data, I would like to refresh my data set um, to the to this particular delta share. So I'm just clearing um, the previous delta sharing permissions. Yes, I cleared all the permissions, so it's going to be a brand new connection. So get data and then click more. And there is a dedicated connection for Delta Share. Choose the Delta Sharing, click on Connect. It's going to prompt you uh, for the credentials. The, um, the sharing server URL, you already got it here. This is going to be your Delta Sharing URL. Grab that and then just use it. That's all what you got to do to access the Delta share. And then it's going to ask you for authentication. Um, you got a bearer token as well in the downloaded file. Take the bearer token, which is valid for seven days. That's what I put it in the um, generation. So it's going to get you there. To the Databricks Delta share. And then we can see the data sets or, or data products that are part of the Delta share. This is a newly created demo Delta share and I have added just one table to the, or one Delta table to the Delta share uh, from BDC. It's gonna be profit center. So I can use this profit center data set in Power BI um, and then do my analysis. Well, to summarize, going back, it could be any target client, if not Power BI. It could be any of the target clients that are shown in the um, Delta sharing protocol. Yeah, to summarize what we discussed for this to, today's topic, similarly, the behind the scene, this is what it is going to happen. Uh, it is just that uh, we're going to click a share button in business data cloud data products, and then it's the, behind the scene. Um, the target recipient will be chosen and the, uh, the Delta uh, share protocol works to share the data from data products from the catalog of BDC and share with the target recipient as shown in this diagram. Well, that's all for today's session. I hope this is helpful. Um, for detailed training on Business Data Cloud, Datasphere, Databricks, please reach out to me at surumpalli.s at gmail.com. Thank you. Bye for now.